Hi everyone, my name is Christy Eckendorf. I am an intern with LRT Sports, and this video is going to be about four ways to navigate teammate drama. So number one is gonna be be crystal clear about your team culture from day one. This is really important for the captains to have a conversation that everyone will be connected on what they're expected of and what they should be doing and how they should be handling situations. Rule number two is actively listen. This is super important because a lot of people nowadays tend to just wait for their turn to talk. If when you actively listen, you're understanding how your teammates feel and what they're trying to get across from you and you can have a more meaningful conversation. Rule number three would be no triangle communication. This is when person A has a problem with person B and instead of talking to person B, they go and talk to person C and then person C talks to person B. So that will be including too many people in the conversation that didn't need to be there to begin with. And it starts a lot of miscommunication because things aren't always communicated properly when it doesn't come right from the source. And then rule number four would be the three a day rule. So the three day rule is that if somebody says something that offends you or makes you feel upset and you choose to not talk to them about it within three days, you lose the right to be upset about it. So this is really important because if you have a problem with someone or if someone hurt your feelings, you really wanna be able to set those feelings out on the table and say, this is how it happened. This is how I feel about it. And you and that person can pick somewhere to go with that. Being on a team with someone can obviously involve a lot of rifts and you are most likely going to run into a disagreement somewhere along the lines. So all of these steps are very important to navigating that teammate drama and getting it out of the way as soon as possible.